What's going on, YouTube? It's your girl, April, the owner, CEO of She Is Creations. I'm also the founder of Bling Teas and Cocktails. Yes, I am wearing a bling shirt. It says She Is Resilient. Um, she Is is my company's name. Well, She Is Creations. And the IS is actually Imani Smith, if you don't know. And if you are new to my channel, um, that is where the She Is Creations come from. So, thank you guys for tuning in. And before we get into this video, go ahead and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can keep up with videos for us. And give this video a thumbs up if you like what you hear. If you don't like it, just keep I wanted to come on here and talk about some of the reasons why people think that they want to become entrepreneurs. And because I am a creative coach and I help crafters turn their crafts into coins, I get this a lot. I get these things a lot and I always have to explain to people on that really should not be the reason why you want to start your business. I'm going to go ahead and get into this video on the top five things that should not be your reason to start a business. So the first thing is you don't have to work for anyone. So I'm going to be honest, being in the military, being in corporate America, you work for people and I've been in corporate America, I've been in management and I've had a boss and I've been boss, I've been the boss. But running your own business is nothing like it. Yeah, I don't have somebody over me telling me what to do 24 seven, but it's hard because I have to have the discipline and determination to be able to do what I'm supposed to do. So, if my friend want to go turn up or if I want to go out of town with my family or if I want to go spend time or have a date night with my husband, I have to make sure that I have planned what I'm doing around that. So I have to be able to have discipline with my schedule and do the things that I need to do so I can do the things that I want to do. So you do work for somebody. You work for yourself and it's harder because you don't have somebody over your head telling you to get up, clock in, clock out be to work on time and stuff like that. You got to do all that stuff on your own. And guess what? If you was a horrible employee out there in corporate America, you're going to be even worse working for yourself because it ain't nothing like um, I have my work area here. I have my office space downtown, but it ain't nothing like I want to stay in my bed. There's nobody making me get up out of my bed or I want to really sit on this couch and binge on Netflix, but I can't. So yeah, so definitely when you think that you don't have to work for nobody, please, that, that is not a reason to start a business because you do work for somebody. And I'm just talking about having a discipline to do the things that you're supposed to do. But you also work for them customers. You also work for your customers. I love my customers. Lord knows I love my customers. And I go above and beyond for them. But sometimes there are difficult customers and you have to be able to have great customer service skills and you have to be able to have reason you have to be able to be firm and you technically work for them you know especially if you're doing some type of service and things like that and you want to make sure you give quality service so you are working for them so that's number one do not start a business thinking you don't have to work for nobody else two you will work fewer hours if I had the, if I was good at editing, it would be a whole bunch of emojis laughing, ha 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 at this moment because I work a lot. Like my eyes probably red. That's probably why I don't upload YouTube like I should because I'm always working. If you see all these boxes and behind me, I have the Titan cutter here. I have my OKI OK right here. I got two crickets right here. I got three heat presses over there. I'm always working. Um whether it's embroidery, whether it's answer customer service, whether it's um, heat transfer sheets, whether it's sending invoices, whether it's answering emails, whether it's providing the mock-ups, whether it's even the employees, the staff that I have, even helping them. I'm always working. So fewer hours, no, I put in work. Right now, my business is doing well and I feel like I'm in my hustle mode. So Excuse the beeping. My daughter is going in and out the door. So I just feel like you got to hustle now so you can enjoy the benefits of it later. Right now, I'm going into year three of my business, but I just I feel like I have not even touched the surface. And when I'm not working, I'm educating myself. I'm trying to master my craft, continue to master my craft and continue to work on it. So you definitely 
would not work fewer hours. So please do not start a business thinking that you are going to work fewer hours. Three, you don't have to deal with people. No, you do have to deal with people. Matter of fact, um, even if you did a business that was not into customer service, you still have to deal with people because your network is your net worth. So you want to be able to collaborate with people and build those business relationships because it's still things that you may need to help you enhance your business that you're going to need other people to help you do. I know what I'm good at and I know what I'm not good at. So I surround myself with people that um, can add to my value. So yeah, you're definitely going to have to deal with people and you have to be able to um, just have great people skills because it's you. If it's your business, you are out there in the one selling your business. And whether you deal with customers or not, you still need to be able to um, talk about your business, sell your business. It might be a grant that you want to be able to expand your business or a loan or, you know, add people on your team. And if you don't want to talk to people and talk about your business, please do not make that your reason to start a business because you don't want to deal with people. Because I'm here to tell you, I deal with people every day. Easy money. It's not. It's just the truth. I, I mean, I don't know a, a other way to put it. If you're hard up for money, um, starting a business, you may do things on the impulse. So that might not be a good reason to start a business because you want to make good decisions. You want to make decisions that's going to be beneficial to you in the long run, to your business in the long run. And you want to set the foundation. So if you're pressed for money or if you are trying to rush and do everything then you're not going to have a good foundation and you're going to probably have to backtrack later and fix those areas so when you want to start a business you want to go into it with a clear mind and like i said in one of my old videos and one of the things that i live by to get ready and you got to fire and then you aim so I know like when you shoot an actual firearm, you get ready, you aim, and you shoot. But in a business, you want to get ready, you want to um, shoot, and then you want to aim. Because all that data that you get from putting it out there in the universe to make sure that there's a market for what you're trying to do, that there's an interest for what you're trying to do. And then you take that and you regroup, and then you aim, you focus on your target market and things of that nature. So it's not easy money. It's a lot of work because you can start a business, but it's not the end all be all because you want to make sure that you are continuing to educate yourself, learn, and just step your game up. Um, what sets you apart from everybody else in your business? Fifth and final thing, I don't have a job. Again, we kind of touched on that in number four. And desperate times calls for de desperate measures. And that's just the truth. Again, like I said, when you are pressed for something, you probably skip steps. And my favorite quote is how you do anything is how you do everything. So you want to make sure that you have a clear mind going into your business. And I just really wanted to come on here today and share that with you guys because it's hard. It's definitely difficult running a business. Every day, I'm going to be honest, and I just can't be another way. I can't do nothing else but keep it real. I want to quit and be like, I'm just going to go back to corporate America because it's hard. Because everything falls on you. It doesn't matter if I have 50 people working. April Imani Smith is the face of She Is Creations. This is my baby. And nobody's going to value your value your goal or vision like you do so you definitely want to make sure things are going the way that they're supposed to that you're setting a foundation and that you're doing the things that you want to do to be successful so thank you for watching don't forget to go ahead and subscribe hit that like button and that notification bell and also if you are interested in starting your own t-shirt company um my contact information is down below if you're looking for a creative coach a creative coach to help you turn your craft into coins or if you're just looking for a free consultation just to talk about you know starting a business and where you should begin definitely hit me up my com contact information will be down below and also i am a published author one of my books went bestseller over the summer so um this past summer 
well it's not past but it's still summer but it's called it's possible a dreamer's manifesto to overcoming opposition and also girl power uncensored so if you want those if you want to get a copy of those books the links will be down below as well so again thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video